Welcome everyone to our updated shop tour. I have spent the last couple months making this place feel like home, adding artwork, adding very exciting things as you guys can see behind me. Uh, it's, I'm just so thrilled. So today we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you guys through all the new stuff at the uh, shop here. Show you, what, you know, what's on the walls, explain all that stuff and it should be pretty fun. So let's go. So first off, as you saw, I'm filming this at night because I wanted to showcase the signs. So if we turn the lights off in here, you have some very cool BMW roundels, Alpina roundel. The camera doesn't really pick it up because of the, the lighting, but we got one and two, and we'll get into the specs on these signs in a second, but I just want to showcase them while they were on. So. As you guys remember, this is our shop space. And starting off, I'm just gonna go in a nice little sweep, talk about everything. Well, first off, I'm already forgetting things. Nice BMW clock right there. But you walk in the front door here, and as you walk through here, and I have the 2002 kind of shoved up here, so it's a little awkward. I have the time that I was featured on BMW's Instagram when we worked together to make this uh, cool video. So I obviously had to just, just throw that right there. So when you walk in, it's the first thing you see me on the pinned on the homepage of BMW's official Instagram. Then here we have my article that was done on me with Beamer Life. Um, I just felt like it would be cool to kind of have this published here. So if like potential customers come in or whatever, they can read through my story really quickly here. Um, I think that that's pretty special. But then coming over here, so we got obviously a stack of tires. We have my new workbench area, I bought a little cute little workbench just to kind of have some tools laid in and, and you know shelving space. I really don't want anything more than this in terms of like tool storage and stuff because I do want this place dedicated to mainly car storage as you can see. But I did go ahead and grab this so I can keep some stuff in here, you know, tools, random stuff. I don't have hardly any tools here right now, but oil on the bottom, we got some car covers. And then above it we have an E34 narrow nose front end because I've just had this sitting, so why not? Um, and I think it looks really cool. And it's cool to have like a real life piece on the wall. I still gotta cut the zip tie holding it. Now that right there is a genuine BMW GMBH 1972 roundel sign. So that is their classic roundel sign from 1972. It's stamped and all that stuff. So that is really wicked. That's like a super heavy sign. It's, it's kind of crazy. Um, that is a really cool piece. Got shipped here from California. This BMW sales service, got this from a local guy who gave me a few things that are in here. And I thought that was kind of cool. It's centered a little goofy because it's covering like a hole there. Then here I have some old genuine um, BMW like magazine like stuff. So this is a 3.0, not a 3.0, this is a Bavaria ad, and this is a 630 CSI like spec sheet. Here we have the original Euro plate to the Alpina, so that's really special. I could probably throw it on the car if I wanted. And then mind the mess, I'm still you know busy setting things up, finalizing. I got these E12 seats here I'm trying to sell that are just kind of taking up space. Ladder, I got another uh, BMW illuminated sign right there. And then coming up, obviously the centerpiece of this wall, we have a massive 42 by 42 inch BMW 1980s roundel. This is like a dealership sign from the 80s, so it's got the cooler old font in it. You can kind of see different from that, which is the more modern logo. And obviously it lights up. I still gotta do the wiring better, but this thing is sweet, really love it. And then above it, we have a massive M sign. So, I mean, it's hard to kind of put the size of these into comparison because they look small on this wall, but I, I have a picture of me with that one. That one's even bigger. But that's about five feet long. That's 42 inches. That's what, four feet by four feet. So they're massive, um, genuine. That's genuine. That's like just a reproduction. Still very cool. That's a neon sign, but I have to rewire it because that European wiring because both of these came from Italy. So a lot of signage for some reason just happens to be in Italy, which is very interesting. But then I got my BMW parking only. I got an M1 banner just because the guy that had that sign had a few banners that I wanted and I was like, eh, I'll take it. Cool to have just something to fill the wall there. Down here under the lift, we have Rolex Daytona poster and then a Power of M celebrating 50 years. Not so, those are just posters. 
nothing special. And then we come over here to our obviously first major structure in the building, my brand new four post lifts. So this is a really, really exciting step for me, having lift storage because this space, while it's nice to have and it fits a lot of cars, it need to fit more cars. And everything was kind of packed in here. Like I could have four cars along right there wide and it worked, but they're really tight. This way you could still fit, you could actually fit more cars, but they're all spaced in a way that you can like walk around the centerpiece car. So the, the goal is when I'm selling stuff like this Alpina, you have the buyer come in under the nice big BMW Rondell, they can walk around their car. And I think it's just kind of a really cool little thing there. Um, but these are Atlas four post lifts. I wasn't able to go with the Ben pack. That's a little bit out of my reach right now. And we got the Calypso on the bottom here. And then we got the Italian E9 3.0 CS up top, still waiting work. So this is the plan to be like my more like active lift right here. This is the one that I will probably, cause it's easier to get in and out with the door. This one is angled a little bit and it's kind of harder, especially if there's a car here. But you know, this one I could do like little jobs on, you know, oil changes. I gotta get oil change equipment and stuff like that. I don't really intend on using this storage space or this shop space let, or these lifts as like, you know, projects. That's why if you guys have watched the S54 video, I'm still sitting at home doing, you know, laying on my back, fixing this car. And that's just because I want to, uh, I, I don't want this place to turn into just a nasty shop. It's meant for customers to come, clients to come look at these very special cars. I don't want to be pulling an engine next to a one of 259 Alpina B3. That would just be insane. So these are mainly just storage lists, but they'll definitely help me do like some odd jobs underneath cars, which is really awesome. I'll show these in action. I'll, I'll move this one around. Here is the centerpiece of the building, the most substantial sign, the largest sign. This is a five feet by five feet BMW dealership sign, a 2000 sign. As I said, that's a different style font. The biggest production sign I believe you could get of a Roundel. I mean, it is massive. It illuminates, which is sick. And it's overall just, I think, very, very cool. This is also from Italy. It came in a 250 pound crate that was just massive. Me and my dad risked our lives hanging that thing because that was not easy. It was super sketchy. It's not super heavy, but it's just hard to handle, right? And it's heavy enough for its size. Uh, he helped me hang all these stuff. He's the professional hanger of things like this, you know, artwork and stuff. I don't really have that in me like he does, but very appreciative of him for him of helping me do this stuff because it was not easy at all. But obviously then we have the Alpina B3 here centered, very cute. Then we have our other four posts. We got the E36 underneath. We got the there under the cover because it's washed and, you know, ready for sale. So that thing has got to be kept like it's a artifact because it is. So I'll operate this lift in a second though. And then coming around here, we'll kind of skip around. We got the 2002 still chilling parts for it. We got a BMW banner, a big old banner my mom got me. Then we have Hardage and AC Schnitzer banners, which I think are really cool. I like that a lot. The two like big tuning companies. And then to the left, the light up Alpina sign, which is really cool. So basically like the three big BMW tuning companies. I think that's really cool. Above the Alpina sign, we have our M. This is a factory, again, just like that one right there. This is a factory BMW GMBH stamped on the back, 1984 Motorsport Placard. The price that that costs for the size that it is is insane, but it's a really wicked high quality piece and I think it's super sweet. We got our ramp lifts right here. And then these are all gonna have to be kind of replaced because the lift kind of botched it. Um, these were obviously hung up before the lift was here. But we got the patina handle, um, like old reproduction, like posters. So we got the, obviously the Dakar M3, pulse pounding practical performance. Then we got the best handling car in America and seven dollars that look like they should be, the E36 one. That's a sweet poster. We got an E92 M3 because like that's kind of like my, uh, that's like a dream car for me right now. Not really a dream car because obviously you guys see like what's in the shop is beyond an E92 M3, but something that I've been wanting, but it's just, it hasn't been the right time yet. And then that is of course the BBS E34 uh, and other cars, just the big old BBS poster, which I think is sick. Coming over here, we have this really cool BMW porcelain sign with the arrow. I thought what better place to put that than pointing to the bathroom. 
And then this is a special one. This, these will have to move because I, these need to be seen. This is the Autobahn plate, like street sign. And then a picture of me with the Alpina E30 at the Cologne Church. The day I got to drive the E30 on the Autobahn. This is extremely special to me. That's why these need to be moved. But I think it's really cool. Me with the E30. And the E30's here in the shop. That's like just like a dream, dude. It's literally crazy. So then the bathroom. Nothing crazy in the bathroom. I just got some BMW race posters I got for free. So we got the... MA GT races at the Rolex and then we got the M8 GT again Rolex but cool stuff just to have something in the bathroom but uh I mean that's that's it for decorations I mean I know it could be more and I could have just crap all over the walls but I think a few really legitimate pieces like these are so crazy and I think those are just worthwhile just to have and you don't want it to be overcrowded you know like I gotta do the wiring on this one as well but I think this clean wall looks really good and the cars kind of speak for themselves. I mean, lo looking at this is literally a dream, a dream come true. Seeing cars stacked up in my own space, I literally could have only ever dreamed of something like this. It is, I can't even explain it, how exciting it is. Like it is, it's amazing. I could fit three. I need to make some more money before I splurge on a third. I think two for now is, is definitely good enough, but three would be cool. So. In terms of space wise, this actually helped me out a pretty decent amount because before I could do four cars long on the back, three here, and then I could do pretty much two right here if they were smaller cars. Uh, so basically that got me what, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine absolute maxed. Right now what I could do with the lifts is one, two, three, four, five, five on the back, three here, and two here. So that gets you 10, which you may say, you know, what, why that doesn't really get you much space. It gets you one extra car. Well, first off, if I'm really desperate for space, I can have the E36 move that way. I could have the E34 move that way. And then I could have two cars that I could pull in the middle and then dolly them half under the lift, right? So then you could still fit four wide back here, which would be crazy. And in the wintertime, I might have to do that depending on how many cars I get in here. So that puts you at six on the back wall, Three here, two here, so that's 11 cars max. I think that is the absolute max I could fit in here. Uh, if I got another lift, it would still be 11 cars. So not sure if it's necessarily worth, worth my time, but I, just lifts are necessary, dude, for a shop space. I mean, the, these clear out space for me, even if I, it doesn't give me that many more cars I can put in here, like I said earlier, the space around the cars is wonderful. I mean, I have more cars along that back wall than I did before and I can actually walk around all the cars and do things. Like it's just, it's a better way to not like mess up cars doing something stupid. And it just helps the place look more legit. I mean, before it's like coming into a big old storage unit right now, it's like, it, it's the coolest thing ever, dude. I mean, it's it literally, what is better than seeing like that front end looking at you from up top with just something stacked underneath. I think it is the coolest look ever, but I will operate this lift for you guys. I'll show you guys a little bit about it. Not like it's anything groundbreaking, but, uh, Still cool to see, so we'll do that really quick. So first things first, we gotta get this car out of the way, which I will just push it because I don't feel the need to fire up the E36 right now. So we'll get this thing out of the way so we don't crush it. Plus it's not too hard to, to move anyway. So what's nice with this space I can basically have one car sideways up there and then I can have both the cars that are under the lift come out and then I can lower the lift without having to take the cars out, right? Which I think is really nice. So let's go ahead and get underneath this bad boy. And again, being under a lift is really scary at first, but I'm getting used to it here. So these lifts came with all the drip trays, which is sick. So if you got a leaky car, which I really don't have that issue right now, but it's still, you know, reassurance. So here's, we're underneath the E9. You can see, I mean, it's a little dark, but see how pretty it is under here. Fully restored. I mean, it's clean. It's beautiful under here. Um, so it's just nice to be able to get underneath the car, work. And then we have a jack tray right here where you can put like a bottle jack so that I can like jack up the rear of the car, jack up the front of the car so that I can do, you know, work on it. More drip trays right there. It came with chocks, obviously, for the wheels so that you don't, you know, the car doesn't roll off if something goes wrong. And then each lift came with ramps and dollies to roll them around, which is really cool. So 
the way I operate these, well, the way you have to operate these, basically, I don't leave them plugged in or anything because I don't have them wired in a way that really works right now. Like, the outlet's here, like, it's, it's a pain in the ass, but take it and you plug it on in over here. These are 110, so these could plug into just regular outlets. I didn't want 220 because my place doesn't have 220. And I think I heard, like, the lifting difference is, like, dude, I don't even know, like, 15 seconds you save, so it's really not a big deal, but you go over here and you lift it up off the locks. And these are freestanding lifts. So they move around, they shift, but it's how, you know, it's how they operate. I think I gotta get this vacuum out from under here. I don't wanna crush my vacuum nozzle. And lifts are still scary for me to operate, like it's a crazy thing. And then you just release the fluid. Oh, I released it on the locks. See, I'm still not understanding how to work these. So up off the locks, and then you gotta grab this, which pulls the locks in, and then you can bring your toy down. So, seeing this thing in the shop is just an absolute dream. Just too scared to drive it. I gotta get out there and drive it still. You guys are probably wondering when the video's coming on this thing. We'll see. Or maybe it's already out, I don't know. But then a little awkward, you gotta kinda switch from your hand to your foot, otherwise you gotta lean all the way down with it. But it comes down pretty quick when the car's on here. And then we could take a look at our pretty, pretty E9. You guys have seen it, obviously. Or maybe you haven't seen it much, but. Whew! What a pretty car, huh? When it comes time to put, put it back up or put another one on there, all you gotta do is, first off, I'm gonna put my cover back on. Okay, and then time to go back up. I had to unplug this for some reason. You sit here and you patiently wait for the thing to go up. Okay, and now you don't wanna pull that, you wanna just set it, and then boom, she's on the locks, safe and secure. We can unplug it. And now we can go underneath our car, do what we need to do, look at what we want to look at, which is awesome. This helps for pictures, for bringing a trailer and stuff like that. And uh, then we can bring our other car back underneath. And it is just super, super fun. To, it's just, having these is just a game changer, dude. It's just exciting. It's new, it's new to me. It just, it just feels like I leveled up, you know? And I think that's important. You don't want to feel stagnant. And I mean, again, these are all, I mean, I'm sure a lot of this stuff seems like it's, way new to the channel and like things just took a crazy turn and they really did. I mean, I, I still am doing what I was doing years ago, but I'm now doing obviously crazier things with cars like this and the Alpina and stuff. And that's, it's a blessing and it's just really exciting to see all this go and see where things go for us. So I just want to show you guys this new shop tour because I am in love with it, with the artwork, the lifts and just, just watching it come to be mine and I think this is a great place that I'll stay at for a little bit because until I'm, you know, rocking out 20 cars at a time, which, you know, could happen very soon, this place is plenty big enough for me at the moment. So that is all. I just want to show you guys what's new here, show you guys the lifts. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for being here, supporting me, watching me to get to this point. If you've been here for a couple of years, I'm sure it's like, whoa because that's how it feels to me it's just really really cool so thank you seriously to every single one of you that helps make everything i do a possibility i'm very appreciative of everything and everyone in my life so i will see you guys in the next episode whichever car that may be on who knows yeah peace out